Hey G Squad, welcome back to my soda. Is it worth it? So today episode we got this cool mirror right here and basically what this is is a portable compact foldable chair from this brand right here. So supposedly for this product it's actually very popular but I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. Alright, so once you guys open up, first the inside right here they provide guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up. So if you guys are curious about how to set it up or if you guys don't know how to, they do provide the instruction right here. But right underneath that we do have the actual product so stick it out. All right, so once you guys take it out, if you can see the product is all nicely wrapped up, but take off all the wrappers first, all right? So once you guys take out the wrapper, this is what the product looks like. So we do have the brand logo right here, and we have the actual product right here. When you guys feel the frame that's on here, it definitely feels pretty high quality. It doesn't feel cheap like your typical portable chairs, which is very nice. But let's open this up to show you guys what the product looks like and how to actually use it. So first thing I'm gonna do is open the velcro right here. Once you guys do that, you guys wanna open this part right here or let it open by itself. All right, so once you guys let it fully expand like this, what you want to do next is pull this part here. You guys want to fully extend it, but let's do one at a time. All right, so we should be able to do one more here. And one more here as well. And then once you guys finish setting that part up, then it's all set. So now you guys can start using it. If you guys can see in the bottom right here, they do have like a non -stick material. So once you guys put it in ground, it prevents it from moving around. And the way how you guys close the product is by pushing on the silver part. Once you guys do that, you can push it down really easily. Just like that. And once you guys are ready to close the bottom part, you can press the bottom button right here. But you see on the top part, this is what the product looks like. So when you see the fabric, it definitely feels like a high quality fabric. Both right here and right here. It's like a different type of fabric. But when you see on the top part, it does have the brand logo and right here on the side as well. And they also mentioned the material that they use on here is a high quality aluminum that's rust resistant and scratch resistant as well. With the material for the top part here, it is tear resistant or tear proof and also waterproof. So if you guys get water on here, it is completely fine. But when you guys feel the overall weight of the product, it definitely feels pretty lightweight. So that way it makes it pretty easy for you guys to carry around if you guys do need to. So this is what the overall product looks like once you guys fully set it up. Before I just test it out, I want to show you guys how to put it away first. So let's push right here, push right here. Just do it slowly, one at a time. Same thing for the other side. Once you guys do that, you guys can push on the button on the bottom, and that will allow you guys to push back up like this. And then once you guys bring it back together, you guys can use the strap right here. And it's all set. So as you see, once you guys put it back together, it's literally so compact and portable, so you can bring it with you guys anywhere you want to. And they do mention the weight limit that's on here is 300 pounds. So as long as you guys are not over that weight limit, then you guys are fine. So that is everything that's on the bar right here. Let me just go test it out to show you guys what the product looks like when you guys actually use it. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. As you see, we have the chair set right here. So when you guys look at the bottom part, it definitely looks pretty nice. It has a good foundation and good material that's on here. And when you guys sit down, this is what the product looks like. And you can see how it actually has pretty good support on here. So if you guys move around, it's completely fine. Because the way how they designed it, it gives you guys good support on here. And I believe it supports up to like 300 pounds. So if you guys want to lay back a little bit, you can definitely do it on here. But it definitely gives you guys a pretty good overall support when you guys actually use it. And then obviously once you guys are done, you can fold it back up. So I'm actually show you guys how to fold it back up really quickly. So I'm going to put the button on the bottom. Once you guys got that part done, you guys can push the button on the bottom right here. And that will allow you guys to push it back up this way. And once you guys bring it back together, you guys want to use a strap to tighten it back up. And then it's all set. So that is how you guys put the product away. All right, welcome back guys. So nice little quick test the product definitely actually does work. It actually works quite well. If you see the whole setup process and the putting away process is actually pretty easy. It didn't take that long. And I love the way how they designed the product because they probably got a bunch of tools or accessories on the side where you can hang onto your backpack or something like this part right here or these parts on top. And when you guys feel the overall product, it just feels like a high quality product. Not like those typical cheap portable chairs, but that is everything that's on the product. Now the unboxing and testing product, now the answer question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for the product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want or need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality portable chair that has the same design that's on here, where it's like scratch resistant, rust proof, tear proof, or waterproof, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one 
and save the money for something else I should do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.